Hi, my name is David Borden. I'm an R&D staff scientist in protein analysis, and we're going to go through the steps today of the traditional Western blot transfer. Okay, so to get started, let's talk about the things we need here. First of all, so we've got our deionized water, we've got our transfer buffer that's already made up into the appropriate formulation, we've got our new page gel that we've already run our, our protein samples on, we've got our um, PVDF filter sandwich kit, we've got our sponges, we've got our uh, blot module, our power supply, and a timer. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we need to go ahead and start with our stack assembly. So we take two of our uh, sponges and dip them into some of the uh, transfer buffer that I've already poured into this plastic container. Next, we take our, um, our filter paper and submerge them, both of them, in the transfer buffer as well. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take one of the pre-wetted transfer, or the one, of the, excuse me, one of the, the pre-wetted filter papers, put it on top of the two pre-wetted sponges. Next we're going to take our SDS page gel that I've got here. I've already taken it out of the cassette. It was a precast gel, uh, a new page gel and I've cut off the, the bottom and the top. I'm going to go ahead and carefully lay them on top of the filter paper. Okay. Next I'm going to go ahead and take this little roller here and roll out any bubbles that may be between the gel and the filter paper. Next I'm going to carefully take the pre-wetted PVDF membrane, handling it with a pair of forceps, and then carefully lay that right on top of my new page gel. Then on top of that, lay the final piece of filter paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this roller again to make sure that I get out any remaining bubbles. Then I take the last two sponges, get them nice and soaked with the transfer buffer, put them on top. Okay, so this is a common mistake. We've all done it. Uh, you'll get your, uh, your stack reversed. And so it's just important to emphasize that the order of materials are sponge, sponge, filter paper, gel, nitrocellulose or PVDF membrane, filter paper, sponge, sponge. And this whole stack goes into the blot module such that the membrane is on the positive electrode side, and the gel is on the negative electrode side. And now what we want to do is keep a, a tight grip on this blot module, push it all the way down into the tank, and then put our clamp in and clamp that shut. And now we're going to take some of our transfer buffer and fill up the inner chamber with transfer buffer up to the top. And then we're going to fill up the outer chamber with the deionized water. About 400 mils or so. And now we're going to go ahead and put the lid on top of our XL and set our voltage for about uh, 30 volts and one hour. Get our timer started, and we've got about an hour before we're uh, moving on to the next step. Okay, so our one hour wet transfer is complete. Let's go ahead and disassemble uh, the uh, stack. So first, let's power off the power supply, and go ahead and um, Disengage the clamp, take out our blot module, 
get our forceps. Take off our two uh, sponges, our single filter paper. And right underneath here is our blot. And as you can see here, our die front was transferred and our new page standards were transferred. And so now this blot is ready for blocking. And once the block procedure is complete, we can go ahead and uh, move that blot directly into primary antibody, wash, secondary antibody, and then complete with our detection method of choice. And that's it for a wet transfer.